Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Show, and welcome to another Who's an Indie? Strategic Tactical Survival Indie Game to your face hole. Today's impression is potions. Yeah, good luck finding that one, because it's literally just one word. But either way, you are a potion master, making potions to sell during the day and finding the resources via night, while a frog apparently plays the tunes. He's frogging. I wish you better luck than last. You agreed to win the bag of holding. It's very much D&D. And your recipes are in the recipe book. Spells can be found in the spell book. To discover new recipes and magic, you will need to travel to nearby regions on the map. Mouse over objects to get more information on them. Good luck and happy brewing. Was that... It? Health potions require two berries. Okay. I have created a potion! Now what? X? Auto brew. When enabled. Okay. I have made. So I'm basically making potions to sell for $4. And that's all I'm doing right now. I'm making potions to sell. Now, obviously, there are other things I could do, but I don't have access to anything else. So right now, all of the potions are going to be slightly this. There we go. Couple more, and we're done. And there we are. So we've made all the potions. Now we shall open. I hope they're like health potions. That's all I've got. Hello, kind vendor. I see you need these parts. The region is charming and safe enough, and you will find many interesting recipes here. Thank you. But if you seek more potent potions, you must travel further abroad. I have learned of an oasis in the desert yonder. Perhaps you can travel there to get out. I will return when you have earned at least a thousand gold pieces. I have twenty-five dollars. We have ten days left before the end of the season, so we'll need to move on before then. Good luck. Really? That's it? Okay. I guess that's literally what I'm doing. Potions. That's literally all I have. I can see official things up the top asking me what people want. Obviously, I only have so many potions. So many potions. Please, buy all the potions. If you don't want the potions, please buy the potions anyway. <laughs> it's just... And ingredients, just potion after potion after potion. What other recipes have I got? Buy this recipe for fifty dollars. Obviously, I can tell what it is because it's just showing me there. Do I need to really unlock it? I mean, I don't really think I need to unlock it. All right, what else we got? Let's unlock this because it tells me. So now I need nine dollars. Restores mana to a spellcaster. Ooh. So now I have a couple of the other things. Day overview. $55, 95 expenses, profit of minus 40. Yep, I've done well. Guys, I'm rich. So it's $5 to make it, $9 to get. This is how it works. And that's literally just how it's going to be. Look, here you go. Have your potion. It's a very simple game. Basically, slowly build up. It's obviously not too advanced. It is a very early alpha indie. Which means, obviously, there could be a lot more added into the future. Right now, there isn't. But, as always with these games, there's promise. Now, I don't really know where the promise is going to come in, because this is a G-Round game. They do indie games from all over the place. Which means, you know... I don't know where they find half these things. It is available, however, on Steam. That's always a good sign. You have to pay money to go on Steam, which means they have at least some backing and some belief in their own system. That's my rule of thumb. If you need to put money on your game on Steam, at least, you know, you vaguely care. Unless it's one of those achievement-infested games, which people use to do stuff. However, I'm rich, I'm wealthy, I'm levelling up. Grant spell points can be used to unlock new spells. Okay. I need to look at... What's my spells? Telekinesis. Hold down my button to pick up multiple ingredients. Oh! Transmute. Oh! I'm learning. I have learned all the ways of the things and the stuff. 
But yeah, this is what I'm going to be looking at, I feel. Can I travel anywhere? No. Because I haven't unlocked anything else. Because I'm not rich enough. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time. Ten days to do this. Ten days to do this. What was it? Oh, I drank it. Didn't need to drink it, but I drank it. Alright, open the door. Do the dinosaur. I definitely like some kind of shelving system. Or maybe there is. My friend has something for you. Okay. I have discovered a recipe for a haze potion. You can sell the potions. Okay, just my favorite potion to drink it. You can... Okay, I don't care. I need frog's legs, butterfly... Oh, gods. I'm too... That's a lot of money. $25. But it's going to cost me 10... $14 to make. I don't have any of the haste potions. I'm poor. Oh, come on. Seriously? Oh, wow. Yeah, I get what you want. You know what I've not got? What you want. Why would you come to a person who literally only has these potions and go, I want all of those you don't have. Terrible, terrible people. If I make one, I'll be able to sell the rest to you guys as well. Please. Yeah, I get it. I hate you too. So it's balls. Oh, come on. I stock up on all of these. Yeah, I get it. No reputation. Screw all of you. Screw each and every one of you in the face holes. Brigands, if they come, they will demand their data will attack you if you delay them. You can look at any order to open the recipe. Keep a good stock of health push at hand to heal yourself. Good luck. Cool. Brigands now appear, so now I have to heal myself to stop myself from dying. Oh my god, seriously? Stop after. Ugh. This is insane. They all just want the same potions. Okay, what's in here? Mm. Better throw that. Get out of the way. Good. Okay. Wait, what? Whatever. Okay, it's getting a little bit weird. So, I'm just going to put the potions over here, maybe? That I can give them to the people who want them? I don't care. So, <laughs> management's definitely a thing I'd definitely love to see in this. That's a brigand. Wait. Okay. Okay, I don't need to put them there. I just have a big pile of stuff over here, I guess. Sweet dreams. Giant leap. What is giant leap? I don't have giant leap. Okay, that is... Okay. Uh... Uh, what is this? What am I making? I've leveled up. That's great. I don't really care. Are we doing it? God, now they want this one. Which one's this one? I thought having a big stock would be much better in life. But it turns out I don't want a big stock of supplies. I just want to build whatever the hell they want at the time. So... It's not really a shop-based thing, because obviously I'm not really doing shop-based stuff, because I was expecting to have a big massive stock of things, and I don't really need a big massive stock. 
what you really need is people to buy the right things at the right time. And also to remember stuff. Because obviously I still have a fair few in things in stock. Now it's good to have like one or two of each, like it said, but apart from that, it's not really. Okay, there we go. What do you want? Sweet dreams. I don't have sweet dreams. Biggest demand. No. No. Wait, are they going to kill me if I just leave it? I don't really care. If I just leave them while I live? Yeah, there's a timer. Okay, good. Uh, what am I doing? What do you need? You don't care. You care. Okay, drink the potions. What do you want? I don't want to make this for you. I can't make it for you. It's so expensive. It's so expensive. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, you want that one. Okay, good. Ugh. What do you want? It's just an interesting game. I'll definitely give it that. Obviously, it's a bit more hectic than anything else. What is this? Manor. Everyone suddenly wants manor. That's another bloody brigand. What do you want? You want this, which is that, 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 that. Okay, and you guys want... Let's see what that... Wait, what? It's insane. I don't have to literally out-heal the enemies who are attacking me. Apart from that, it's an interesting game. Um, not really much else to say. It's mostly levels of panic and slowly building up and hoping for the best. You're no longer able to trade. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to get to like a thousand gold. Because I'm not getting enough people. Even though they're all buying the most expensive thing, I'm not sure I'm getting them. So even if I sell that, which is, let's see, 14. I'm only making like 20 gold or 20 dollars per potion. To make a thousand, I need to sell about, you know, 50 or so. Just keep up with random prices. And obviously, you can tell by how much health money I've got left. It's just very difficult. I'm having to drink my own bloody health potions now. That's only like $2 a time. But even so. But yeah, apart from that, it's okay. Not really much else to say. They all keep buying the cheaper potions, so that means I'm never going to be able to make them money. Which one's this one? The brigand thing is genuinely annoying more than anything, honestly. Genuinely annoying. Because that's even more money I don't have. But apart from that, eh. Oh my god, seriously? What's with all the frog's legs suddenly? There we go. See, 228 gold. That was $100 profit. I'd have to do that for 10 days just to get this 1,000 gold it asked me for. But apart from that, potions is good. It definitely needs a little bit of work here and there. I could go on for an extra hour and a half or so on, but I don't think too much is going to change. Just going to get a few more potions as time goes by. See, 250 gets me night vision, which is even more stuff. 
then we're going to have to move on to get the next gear. Obviously, it gets a bit tougher. Probably a couple more mechanics. It's mostly panic and juggling situations and problems. But otherwise, yeah, it's kind of like a potion simulation game. Uh, link in the description downstairs below. If you have a go of it yourself, it's on the G-Round site. It's also on Steam, but it's not available yet. I've been the Fallen Shogun. Look at how many ingredients you can have. That's a sp ugh, spider. Take care. Be awesome, be epic, be amazing. And I'll be seeing you sometime soon. Till then.